Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I am on a financial freedom journey with my family. I share all about that and more on my channel. I cannot believe that this is the final budget with me that I will be posting for 2023. I feel like this year just flew by so, so fast, but I am also really excited about starting a new year. There is just something about a new year that just like feels so refreshing and so fun to plan for and all of that. So really looking forward to 2024 and sharing that with you guys as well. And this will be it for 2023. So let's go ahead and jump into our December budget. All right. So first thing we will talk about is our income. So I only budget based on my husband and I's salaried jobs. And that amount is consistent every single month because we're both salaried. So that number really does not change. And yeah, so we are budgeting with $7,200. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, I do usually receive a annual bonus in December. However, I never count that towards my December budget until I am like 100% sure that I will be getting it, <laughs> which obviously, especially like with this economy and all of that, I just don't want to count on money that I don't actually have. So you will not see that budgeted for in this video. I will talk more about it in December, like when I know what I'm receiving and how I will allocate that money when I do receive it. So more to come on that. Um, I usually don't find out about that until like the middle to end of December. And so, you know, at that time, I will definitely share with you guys. It's not that I don't want to share it. It's just that I genuinely don't know what it is yet. So hard to share something that you're not sure of. <laughs> so not counting anything like that. And then also we do have side hustle income every single month from like various sources. If you guys watch my debt free Friday videos, I talk about that every single week. So I will also not be sharing that because obviously December hasn't happened yet. I don't know what that'll be. And we only do our monthly budgets based on our salary. So you guys will see more about that in my budget closeout that I do at the beginning of the next month, every single month. So I share like our real income and all of that and how we actually spend our money. This is just our plan for our money. So sometimes that doesn't go according to plan. Obviously, we are real people. We are five people in this family. So you know, spending can get a little crazy, especially this time of year. Another thing that you will not see in my budget, well, I guess you kind of will see it. Um, I have a Christmas sinking fund, but you won't see anything dedicated to Christmas spending other than this sinking fund because we have been saving money every single month this year to fund our Christmas budget. So that is a completely separate sinking fund that we have separated. So as we've been buying things for Christmas, it has been coming out of this sinking fund. And this month we will continue to fund that um, and, you know, continue to buy things as needed for Christmas. So I will still be posting this year our what we got our kids for Christmas video, as well as our a what I got my kids and my husband in their stockings. So stay tuned for those. Those will be right at the beginning of December. So more to come on that. Let's go ahead and get into our budget for December though. So we have our fixed expenses over here on the left. So this is what I always do first. This is what I budget first because these are expenses that we have to pay that, you know, come up every single month or well, my water bill is actually quarterly, but that is a fixed expense. Um, we do have to pay that every single quarter. And usually the amounts are pretty consistent, you know, electric and the water bill do vary, but the other ones are fixed. So let's go ahead and get started. First is our mortgage. So this will be our mortgage for January 1st. We do the budget for the mortgage like the month prior. So we have that money ready on the first when that does like an automatic pull. So that'll be $2,100 for the mortgage. We normally have our Netflix subscription here. However, we actually gave up Netflix last month. So I know I've talked about that for a while that we've wanted to cut it out, but we weren't really sure. And so we finally decided like, let's just pull the trigger and cancel Netflix. And so far we haven't missed it. I don't know. We, we weren't really watching it a ton. And so we figured like if we really miss it, we can always re, you know, resubscribe to it. It's not like it's gone forever. Um, but we just felt like it wasn't worth the $8 a month that we were spending because we weren't using it. So that's kind of the 
rationale behind that. And like I said, so far we haven't missed it. I will keep you guys updated if we eventually get it again, obviously, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. And also you will not see cell phones in this budget either. We do use Mint Mobile, so my husband and I both pay for our cell phone plans yearly. It is significantly cheaper than what we used to pay. We used to pay like $130 to $140 a month for our cell phones, and we are down to $60 a month for both of us for unlimited everything. It's such an amazing deal. Absolutely love Mint. If you guys want to use my link, I always have it in the pinned comment and the bio below if you guys want to use that. But I just highly recommend Mint. I truly love it. My husband and I have used it for over a year and can't say enough good things about it. So you will not see cell phones in here because it is not a month that we need to pay our cell phones. Next up is our Peloton. So we do have a Peloton bike. So we have the um, subscription and also that comes with all the other workouts too. Like they have, you know, outdoor walks and strength classes and all of that kind of stuff. I have been heavily slacking lately, you guys. I have to be honest. Um, between remodeling our basement and like all the things that have gone on in the month of November, I have just been really off of my workout routine. So I'm really looking forward to getting back into that soon. Um, really need to be getting back into that soon. Next up we have is our internet. So obviously we um, need internet at our house and that is $60 a month. And then next up we have giving. So we do have a recurring donation every single month to St. Jude. And then we have our child care. So my daughter goes to a part-time 4k program and so we do need to pay for like the other half of her day because she stays there full day um but like the actual 4k is only for half day so 585 for the month that is a fixed uh fee for each month it's 585 so 585 for december and then like i said we do have our water bill this month so i'm gonna budget 250 for the water bill and actually 250 for the electric and gas as well. I think that'll be enough for both of those, hopefully. Um, like I said, those are variable, but they are usually around like 250 this time of year. So hopefully that'll be enough. And that brings our total fixed expenses for the month of December to $3,390. And our remaining to spend for the month is $3,810. So let's move up to our variable expenses for the month of December. Our first variable expense is our spending. So my husband and I both get $100 in personal spending money every single month. That just works for us. That's what we've been doing for a really long time. And I think we eventually will probably bump this up, but not currently. We're really focused on our basement remodel. So perhaps after that we would consider like increasing this but honestly a hundred dollars each for us works um i usually get a pedicure with mine honestly that's what i've been doing the last few months and it's been so nice to be able to go do that and just be able to spend that money on pampering myself for once because i feel like in the past i have spent my personal spending money on things that are really not personal spending i would spend it on like my kids toys for my kids, uh, snacks for my kids, you know, just like things for my kids when we're like at Target or whatever. Um, so I'm trying to use my personal spending for myself. That is something that I always have a problem with. I always, I'm like a gift giver. I love giving gifts. I love giving people things. And so I feel like I have a tendency to spend my personal spending money on other people. Next up is gas. So I'm actually bumping this category up a little bit for December because we will be traveling um, relatively, you know, not too far, but, you know, a state over basically. Um, not like a super far state over. I live in Wisconsin and we're going to Illinois. So, you know, it's, it's not super far, but it's still far enough that we'll probably go through like a tank of gas or two in that trip. So I'm adding 50 extra dollars to our gas. And then I'm doing something similar with our groceries. I'm going to budget $900 for groceries this month of December because of Christmas. Now, I don't think we're hosting Christmas, but I do always just like to have extra money. Obviously, we're going to, you know, probably be bringing things to people's houses and things like that. So I always like to have a little bit extra this time of year. Next up is our fun and kids. That is $100 that we'll budget for that. So that's like really anything that's related to our kids and spending, like if they have a birthday party or, you know, whatever that they have going on for themselves. I like to just have their own little category that we can pull money from. Miscellaneous is just anything outside of any of those other categories. So if there's something that comes up like 
One that comes up every year is school pictures. And I typically just throw that into miscellaneous um, just because I always forget about it. I never remember when it is. And also my kid's yearbook, which actually I just had to pay um, this last month, which I'm like in November, seriously. Um, But yeah, like things like that, that you just like always forget about or like just are such like minuscule amounts that it doesn't really make sense to like make a sinking fund for them but they do periodically come up. So that's kind of what we use our miscellaneous budget for. And my arch nemesis budget category is dining out. So we are budgeting $250 for dining out, and hopefully we can stick to that. Although it has been so expensive to eat out. Like, honestly, it is kind of making me not even want to eat out anymore because it's so crazy. I mean, our family of five can go out to even a fast food restaurant and spend, you know, 50 bucks. Like, it's crazy. So $250 for the month. Hopefully that will work. And that brings our total variable expenses to $1,900 and our remaining at $1,910. So next category of budget items is our sinking funds. So we do budget for these every single month. So first sinking fund category is car. So this is like anything related to car maintenance. And also we do take our six month um, car insurance bill out of here as well. So I'm going to budget $50. We do have a decent amount in there um, from the beginning of the year when we did buy my husband's car. We actually didn't end up spending everything that we had set aside for that. So we have like a pretty good buffer in our car sinking fund right now. So I really don't feel like we need to bump it up like much more. So 50 bucks for this month. Then home. So $100 is going to home. So this is like home maintenance, like furnace filters, water filters for our fridge, um, you know, anything like home related, a new garbage can. Um, You know, sometimes I'll pull like home decor out of here, like if I buy something for the house, um, you know, those kind of things. So that's house maintenance and like decor and all that. Christmas. So even though it is December and we are actively spending out of this category, I do put $100 every single month towards Christmas. And that does not exclude December. So we will still be putting $100 in Um, we are doing, I feel like we're doing pretty good on our Christmas budget so far. I have gotten a significant amount of gifts at this point. I'm like almost done shopping. So super happy about that. I love being done with my Christmas shopping before December. I know that's kind of crazy probably, but it just gives me like peace of mind. And then I feel like I can really enjoy December with like, out having to worry about, you know, so-and-so's gift or what am I going to get this person? It just lets me kind of like relax a little bit for December. Um, Next category is kids. So $50 is going into our kids category. We use this for school registration fees, back to school supplies, clothes, uh, sports registration fees, etc. So basically anything for kids that are kind of like bigger ticket items. And finally, vacation, you know, self-explanatory here. So we obviously want to take our kids on a vacation next year. So we need to be planning ahead for that. Um, If I do get my bonus in December, I will probably set aside a chunk of that for the vacation sinking fund. Just I usually do that every single year just to give us a little bit of a bump on that vacation fund. Um, So that's kind of the plan. But $100 for this month uh, felt like a good amount. And that brings our total for sinking funds to $400 and our remaining to $1,500. Hundred and ten dollars, which, if you've been following me for a while, goes to our financial goals. So, our current financial goal that we're working on right now is finishing our basement, which is so exciting. We're we're underway with that goal. We're working on it right now. We've got you know my family helping us. Thankfully, my dad is is retired, but he was in like the construction industry for thirty plus years. So he's got so much knowledge, and he's also got a lot of connections in like plumbing and electrical and all of those things, which is so amazing. And I'm so grateful for that. Uh, that has definitely saved us so much money. You know, having people that you know and like are kind of able to pay them as like a side job versus you know hiring like a whole general contractor to do like the whole project. So really grateful for that. But that's all I have for my December budget. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have done your December budget yet. I would love to hear about that below. And I will talk to you guys on Friday. Bye, guys.